this time of year in GTA Online. It's a very weird time, and Rockstar being a US game, always go all out for the holiday season. Now, where I'm from in the UK, we don't really celebrate Halloween that much. We, we do recognise it, but it's just not a massive deal. I've been in the US a few times during holiday season and Halloween season, and much bigger thing there. I love about Rockstars, I love the way that Rockstars support the holiday season, and one of my favourite things that happens this time of year is when the peyote plants get added to the game. These little plants, if you have a little nibble of them, track them down, there are loads of them on the map, you can transform into animals. Once you know where the location of these little plants are, you can head to the same spot, and once you recognise the spots, you'll remember your favourites. The animal spawning is random. You could spawn into anything. I seem to get a load of dogs yesterday when I was doing my, without my peyote hunting. But there are so many different types of animals: cows, deers, panthers, even birds. And if you are very lucky, every GTA lobby once a day, once a GTA day, so every four or five minutes, you can find a golden peyote plant, and that will always spawn on the hills above. Um, peyote bay in mount chiliad at the base of mount chiliad just under where the the cable car places and if you do get that between 3 a.m and 8 a.m gta in-game time you could turn yourself into a bigfoot i've never managed to do this it has to be when the weather is foggy there are different conditions it's got to be within that time frame the weather has to be foggy and if you do go up there and manage to pick the peyote plant at the time you could turn into this this year and make some video content for my youtube channel and for tiktok the underwater peyote animals are really cool as well you can turn into an orca or shark or a stingray or just a fish and it is cool to do as a group as well. If you can get a few players together and all travel around, you can each take a bite of the peyote and turn into different animals. You will not turn into the same animals if you're in a group. I did run into one of my followers yesterday and we both took a bite from the same peyote and he transformed into a cow. And yes, I was transformed into a poodle. Can you believe it? But I do think that this little addition that Rockstar chucks in the game every year at this time is a nice way of taking a little break from the whole grinding and earning money which we all need it doesn't cost any money it's a lot of fun and it makes some good content there's so much going on for halloween in gta this year with the ufo sightings there's some ufo business battles and of course there's a ghost car that's showing up and just mowing people down but the peyote plants for me is a way of sort of marking this this halloween season and the beginning of it if you're not into pvp and you just want to run around doing something cool then this is the thing for you of course there are ways that you can turn this into a pvp enterprise if you are lucky enough you can manage to access your interaction menu while you're inside the animal that's a kind of a glitch that happens every now and then and that means you can access your weapon and the droppable weapons and the throwable weapons and, and you can also access your rc and the tank the rc tank as well so we'll see that you're an animal in the game but you'll be able to creep up on people and sort of hunt them and troll them in the in the lobby of course that equally there are players that are running around terrorizing you when they see that you're a dog so if you are in a public lobby and you hear the sound of a dog barking nearby it's probably a player coming towards you to take you down and if you are lucky enough to spot someone swimming around in the sea, they've probably found a peyote. So head over to that location, jump down, and you might find yourself battling with a shark. And I will continue trying to track down the Bigfoot, the Sasquatch, and I will make some videos on that. It, don't forget to check out the rest of the content on my channel and have a look at all of the latest updates, news, and rumors, and everything on YouTube and on TikTok. And have a look at this. This is the ghost car. Just mowed me down yesterday out of nowhere. We'll look at that.